Welcome to another Math Olympiad video. In this video, we are going to be solving for x to the power of x to the power of 3 equals 256. Now how we're going to do this is we want to get the left side of the equation similar to something like this. x to the power of x or y to the power of y. We want the number to have the same exponent as the actual number. And the reason we're doing that will make more sense as we get further into the equation. So just remember that. So the best way to do that is to put the whole function to the power of 3. And we'll do both sides like that. And once we do that, we can use exponent properties to multiply it out. So we have a to the m to the n is equal to a to the m times n. That is a tongue twister. So let's go ahead and do that. So then it'll be x to the power of 3x to the power of 3, which equals 256 to the power of 3. Now we can also use these exponent multiplication properties in reverse and say that x to the power of 3 times x to the power of 3 can be rewritten as x to the power of 3 to the power of x to the third. Now that we've done that, we've achieved our x to the power of x, where our number and the exponent is the same thing. Now that's very important, and you'll see in the next step. So now let's go ahead and work on the right side of our equation. Let's try and break 256 down so that it as well has a number and exponent that are the same thing. So 256 can be broken down to 2 to the power of 8. And that's something you just kind of need to figure out in your head. And if you work a lot with math, you should know that property. Now, using the exponent multiplication properties, 2 to the power of 8 to the power of 3, you'd multiply 8 times 3, which would be 2 to the power of 24. Now, to try and make this work for us, let's go ahead and do a multiplication tree. So our factoring tree, not bad. So 24 factored out. We can now pick any of these four options to make it so our number and exponent are the same thing. And I'll go ahead and tell you that we want to pick 3 and 8. Because when we do that, if we put 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 8, 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 8. So then we have 8 to the power of 8. So if we go up top, we have x to the third to the power of x to the third equals 8 to the power of 8. And because all the powers are equal and the numbers are equal, we can say that x to the third is equal to 8. Now all we have to do is solve for x. So if we cube root both sides, we cube root x to the third, we will get x. And if we cube 8, we will get 2. And we can test this by plugging 2 into the equation. So we have 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 2 to the power of 8, which is equal to 256. Thank you for watching. I hope this trick helps you out with this Olympiad math video. Please stay tuned for more Olympiad math videos.